If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. He'll wake up every morning thinking, oh, sorry, suck. You know, I'm going to get even. I'm going to, because he needs chip on his shoulder. The NFC has had a major shift in talent this offseason. And now we have Tom Brady entering year three as the longest tenured starting quarterback in the entire NFC South. Everything Brady touches turns to gold or maybe silver, as in Lombardi Trophy. You know, when you have a player like Tom, who's the greatest quarterback of all time, not player, you know, players want to play with a guy like that. So, um, you know, it certainly helped. Um, I can't lie. Uh, we, you know, we've got the ultimate cheat code with Tom. So we're going to take advantage of it while we have it. So, um, you know, I think players like it here uh, regardless, but having a player like that throwing the ball to him um, or being on, even on the other side of the ball, knowing that he's your quarterback, it certainly helps. We that tell the great story, what of Harrison Smith, the all pro safety from the Minnesota Vikings said one time that, you know, they came to the Tom Brady came to the line of scrimmage and they were disguising, you know, trying to disguise and Brady knew exactly what they were going to end up with. He actually said to Harrison, Hey, Harrison, you're going to, you're supposed to end up down here. Watch you just go ahead and get there right now. I mean, and, and Harrison just like, so all I could do was chuckle because he was right. He knew exactly where I was going to line up. So when you have that and you know you can trust your guy then to get there, and your guy doesn't have to be fully wide open because he's one of those accurate guys like Aaron Rodgers that's going to put the ball in and make you open or make you not get hit. I mean, that's an, it, it's, it's better than having the most athletic legs in the world, I think, knowing exactly where you're going to go with the ball, knowing exactly what the coverage is. And by the way, if it doesn't work out, you just live to fight another play, and normally it works out for you. Matty Ice, Russell Wilson, Khalil Mack, Devontae Adams, Von Miller, and Amari Cooper all jumping ships to AFC teams. It's not like, it's not like they retired. These, uh, these players left the conference, and then he uh, retired. He did this not knowing what was going to transpire. He didn't know Khalil Mack was going to get traded. He didn't know Devontae Adams was going to leave Green Bay. He didn't know Russell Wilson was going to get traded. Mm. He didn't know Matt Ryan was going to get traded. Mm. I mean, he could, I mean, I'm sure Tom Brady knows a lot, but hell, he didn't know that. Mm. Teams are not informing Tom Brady of their personnel decision that's going to be made. Has he benefited by all of the above? So if you had to pick a team in the NFC that is the biggest threat to the Rams this season, Jeremy, who would it be? I'm going to go with the Bucks. This is the team that might have the best roster in the NFL still. This, they, they're loaded at every position. There's a reason why other quarterbacks, when Tom Brady retired for those, what, two days, whatever it was, wanted to go to Tampa Bay because they believe they can win there. And Tom Brady, you know you have a reliable option. He's not going to turn the ball over. They're still going to be salty about that Rams playoff loss. They came out so poorly to start that game, rallied at the end. They're going to want another crack at it. He has a chance to sweep this division. And if you can sweep your division, you get a big leg up on on the number one overall seed. The Saints, who always play the Bucks tough, right? Yes, now, yes. Yeah, yeah, now absolutely. have a guy. They have a guy. Yeah, I, I mean, just but does easier equate to having a better chance at winning it all? Like, is that how you guys look at it? Because for me, I I much well, rather you, be hold on. Okay, I much rather be battle tested consistently throughout the course of the season than just have an easier schedule. Because I think that makes you more ready. For the playoff. When you usually hear the term cheat code, you think of somebody with incredible physical abilities that yeah. defy the competition, like a glitch in the Madden game. But the cheat code for Tom Brady is very simple. <clears throat> he looks across the line. He sees the defensive alignment pre-snap. He knows exactly what they're doing. He knows which of his guys is going to be open. And it's critical for a guy with 44 going on 45-year-old legs to have that advance information so he can get rid of the football before the walls close in and he gets hit by somebody literally half his age or younger. That's where the cheat code comes in. He actually can see what the defense is going to do and he knows where to throw the ball 90% of the time, if not more. Tom Brady went through the New Orleans Saints, the Washington New Orleans and Packers. Green Bay yep. to get to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. In Green Bay, by the way. And beat a New Orleans team that beat them twice in the regular season. And a Washington team that had a good defense. And a Washington team that had a good defense. If that's not hard, then I don't know what else to say. 
Yeah, and Rodgers had the bye, though. Like, that's why this is on Rodgers, guys. He, not to make this a Rodgers conversation, because to me what's interesting is the Jameis Winston stuff, but Rodgers had the bye. Rodgers was the guy set up with the home games, with the whole thing, and he couldn't get it done. And, 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 and as opposed to Tom Brady, who, and Key just took you through it, had to go through the gauntlet to get there and did it and beat Rodgers to get there. I think a lot of that's on Rodgers. Well, this cheat code has been with him for a long time. I mean, he's never been that athletic, mobile quarterback. He's already always had to throw the ball to be effective. So what's the best way to throw the ball consistently at a, at a great pace and successfully? Know where the hell you're going to throw the ball. I mean, and, and you said it pre-snap, and I'll take it even further. You go pre-snap, what the read is, and then a second post-snap, right after the what, because everybody tries to disguise nowadays. So instantly after the snap, he's going to recognize, A, from pre-snap, probably what you're going to go to, and then within a second after the ball snap, that's confirmed. So he knows where he's going with the ball. I believe the Shanahan's, for the second time, said no to Tom Brady. He is now going to be re-motivated, ironically, by the Shanahan's. Listen, with Tom, <laughs> with Tom coming back, 5,000-yard passer, but ultimately I know when he gets to a divisional round in the playoffs, he's not just only going to score 10 points. And with Godwin coming back off of an ACL, with the type of mentality I believe Tom Brady is coming back in this locker room with, because what else would you come back for outside of knowing that you, one, have a shot to win a Super Bowl, and you feel like you have unfinished business after losing to the Rams, making that rally at the end of the game. I'm not betting against 12 in the NFC. You give me the Rams, you give me the Green Bay Packers, you give me the 85 Bears. With Tom Brady <laughs> deciding to unretire, the only reason he's doing that is to come back and beat Matthew Stafford and Aaron Rodgers on his way to get back to the Super Bowl. And I'm going to bet on that. The Shanahan's don't want to give up total control of what they do to Tom Brady. It's not a good fit for them egotistically because – what they do is they control the offense. They're like, well, we don't need Tom Brady. We're going to be okay without him. Right. So the irony of this is I don't believe Brady loved that because I believe he feels like he got deprived twice by the Shanahan's of the ability to finish his career the way it should have finished in his mind, which is fairy tale back home in San Mateo where he grew up. Right. In the shadow of Candlestick Park, where the 49ers once played, and finish as a 49er for a year or two. We're still not kind of teetering with throwing Aaron Rodgers' name in the GOAT conversation, right? Like up there. Because for me, when I see Tom Brady make it an impact that he's constantly giving money back to make sure that his team is well weaponized, and I'm seeing the attrition that's happening for Green Bay. I'm starting to look at it like, uh, this conversation is starting to become very, very, very distant. Yeah, because what those legs buy for the younger quarterback who hasn't seen everything that the older quarterback could possibly see and can process it like a coach on the field, those legs buy time while they figure out exactly where in the hell the open guy is going to be. Yeah. Brady already knows. And like you said, it happens pre-snap. It happens in that split second or two after the snap. He knows exactly what to do with the football, and he rarely makes a mistake with it.